Good morning, brothers and sisters. So glad you joined me for a Bible study today. If you joined me Sunday, we had a, a study about the current times that we're in. And so we're going to have some advanced teaching explaining uh, a bit of that. And so if you have your Bibles today, turn to Matthew chapter 24. We're just going to read one verse that we read Sunday. And to put it in context, the disciples have asked Jesus, tell us about the future events and the times of the end when you come. So that's what we learned about. And the verse we're going to study is verse 7. He says, For nations will rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in various places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. And as you know, you know, we have uh, the pestilence, the um, COVID-19. And praise God that he's given us some relief now. We have a vaccine and um, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. But this is pestilence, plural. So we have more coming. Uh, famine, we have famine, but we're going to have worse famine in the world. And it started off talking about wars. We've had wars, but we have more to come. So now the next passage that we read last Sunday we're going to just read about a verse and a half of that so turn with me to Revelations chapter 6 it's talking about the same time frame which is the time frame we're in brothers and sisters and it's chapter 6 verse 6 and I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying a quarter wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius. And do not harm the oil and the wine. All right, brothers and sisters. And so that's the big bullet point. This is what we want to learn today. Because if you have the oil and the wine, you're not going to be harmed during this time frame. It goes on to say in verse 8, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was Death. And hell followed with him, and power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with the sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beast of the earth. All right, brothers and sisters? So it's... Talking about the exact same time frame, the exact same events, war, pestilence, and hunger, okay? And over a fourth of the earth, that's, that's a big portion of the earth. That's a lot of death. That's a lot of people, right? But if you're saved today and you have the Holy Spirit in you, do not fear because God is going to protect you through this and you're not going to die. You're going to be taken up with the church before the great tribulation. You understand? So don't be worried. All right? Now, I'm going to show you what it means by the oil here. And you can judge for yourself if you have the oil or not. All right? So turn with me to Matthew. Turn to chapter 25. And... We're talking about, it's a parable about the virgins, all right? Some virgins are wise, some are not. Virgins means purity, good, loving people, brothers and sisters. And so we're going to pick it up in verse 6. And at midnight, a cry was heard, and behold, the bridegroom, that's Jesus, is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins who arose trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps have gone out. But the wise answered and said, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you. 
but go rather to those who sell and buy your own self. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And those who were ready went with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Right? So now I want to pause here. The virgins, okay, you know, we're all part of the virgin church. If you're saved today, brothers and sisters, and we married the groom, which is Jesus. Amen? Amen. Can't wait for that day. How about you? I hope you're ready. Because these virgins are ready. These good, pure, loving people who are called Christians are going to go and be with the Lord. But the other ones that are called Christians but don't have the oil, which is the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters, the door is going to be shut on them. And then we continue reading on verse 11. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Surely I say to you, I do not know you. How come he doesn't know them? He knows everyone on the planet. He hears and sees everything. He means they're not following him. They're not obeying him. They're not giving him 100%. They're doing something wrong, brothers and sisters, to keep them from having the oil. But they're virgins. Remember, virgins means purity. They're good, loving people. They're not, they're not stealing. They're not lying. They're, they're obeying. But yet they still don't have the Holy Spirit. Okay? And it says, Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man comes. Now I'm going to explain to you these virgins are. I'll give you three examples. Those who claim to be a Christian... But they pray to someone else other than God Almighty in Jesus' name. And if you're Hebrew, in Yeshua's name. Okay? You pray to anyone or anything other than God Almighty, you don't have the oil. And you're not going to heaven as long as you do that. So if that's you, brothers or sisters, stop doing that. He will fill you with that Holy Spirit because you are a virgin. You are living a good, righteous life, but you're not devoting your life to the Almighty God. You understand? All right, the second is those who do not put Jesus equal to God. Jesus was in existence before the creation of the world. He and God the Father and the Holy Spirit have always been here. The Word of God says that. Period, point blank. So if you do not look upon Jesus as equal to God, right? Remember, they crucified Jesus for blasphemy because he said he was the son of God. He is the son of God, only begotten son, who came incarnated to die for you and me, right? So you have to put him equal with God. So if you're not, change it. And if you, if you don't, you're going to be left out. And the door is going to be shut. And that's significant. Because when Noah puts all the animals in the boat. And his family. The word says God shut the door. That means when they're scratching at the door. And Noah with his big heart wants to let his friends in. He can't. Because God shut the door. You understand? So don't let that happen to you. The third virgin that doesn't have the oil is part of a church that puts their writings, their religious writings, ahead of the Bible. You understand? Nothing oversees the truth, the gospel, the word of God. It's complete from the beginning to the end. It is all written through the inspiration of God, the Holy Spirit. It is the word of God. It's the true and faithful and no other book, no other writings go before it or are equal to it. And so if you are that person, change. Or you won't make it. Simple as that. All right, now he mentions one other thing. He mentions the wine. So turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 
verse 25, okay? So you got to have the oil and the wine, and you won't be harmed during this time of war, famine, and pestilence, okay? And this is where, after the Last Supper, Jesus does communion with his brothers and sisters, and he says, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So brothers and sisters, it's very important to participate in communion often. Remember what our Lord and Savior did for you. Paid the penalty for you and me. Died for our sins. Shed his blood for you and me. And it's spiritual. And it's a spiritual moment. You are communing with God and Jesus at that very moment. Drinking the blood, drinking that wine, during that communion. Your soul is communing with his soul. Do not deny that power. Do not deny that command that Jesus leaves us here with. So make sure that you're doing that. And if you worship with me on Sunday, we always participate in communion at the end of the service. Don't deny it. Do it. And God will protect you. All right, brothers and sisters? So be of good cheer and know today is a new day and tomorrow's going to get better. Amen?